Have you ever attempted an MCAT question only to realize that the correct answer is wrong? Is that even possible? Hey guys, my name is Jack Weston, and today I'm going to discuss why the correct answer on the MCAT is wrong. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to this channel. If you're on YouTube, click on the alert notification button. The right answer is technically correct, but it's so general that it appears to be wrong. The answers seem far-fetched, but are actually the closest to what the author is saying. You see, the MCAT is subjective, but to the author's sentiments and ideas. So if you're bringing in your own outside opinions and perspectives, you're going to see the questions and answer choices in a skewed manner. So I like to tell students, when you read, feel free to challenge the author. Think about what it's saying, whether it's right or wrong to you. But when you answer the questions, you have to be the author. You have to answer questions as if you're the author. Let's talk about why the correct answer seems to look wrong. It is the best answer. Even if it is wrong, it is the best one out of the other answer choices. They do this for many reasons. First one, they don't want to make this test too easy. If the answer is obvious, everyone will just pick the right answer and not even read the other answer choices. So by obscuring the answer choices, you're forced to think critically about each answer choice. And it also makes you stick to the passage to find the best answer. And in order to stick to the passage, you have to read the passage. So basically, in order to make you read the passage, they make the answer choices less than stellar. It also prevents test takers from understanding the passage based on the answer choices. If the answer choices were too correct, it could lead you to understanding the passage without ever really reading it. And that's a problem because what if you get an answer right by luck because you guessed and then you use that logic of the answer choice on the other questions? We've all done this. I mean, if you've ever taken a test where you really didn't know the concept that well, well, you're going to guess on one of the answers and you're going to hopefully stay consistent with that answer choice logic for the other questions. So by making the answer choices vague or too general, you can't do that. You're not able to just guess your way through a lot of correct answers. Last but certainly not least, they are purposely making the exam intimidating. If you're unsure of yourself, you'll waste time going back and forth on answer choices. And wasting time on the exam is everything. Timing is everything. So if you can't finish the test on time, you're not going to do well. Go into the exam with the mentality that you have to find the best answer that fits the passage and accept the correct answer on AAMC practice material. The more willing you are to adapt to its mode of thinking, the more likely you are to succeed. If you need help understanding the style of this test, please go ahead and check out my website, jackweston.com, for courses and passages to help you succeed. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll answer it. If you like this video, please like it, share it, subscribe to the channel, and tell your friends about it. Thank you so much.